flat base for your watch workings to sit on. All right, if you don't do that and you try to put the watch on to something that's curved, it's, it's only going to make contact with the very center of the watch face and that's not going to hold in place very well. Okay, I'm going to glue this to my filigree ring base. This is the one I've chosen because it looks very similar to one that's being sold on eBay, or I'm sorry, on Etsy for um, $55. This also has a crown on it and it still has its watch face on it. So I'm just going to take my little screwdriver, put it in there, and pry it right off of there. Comes right off. And there's going to be some little tiny gears and, and possibly like a little piston or something, I think they're called, sticking up. I'm going to pull the little gear off. And I'm going to Oops, hear that little snap, just break off that little piston right there. Now, I think it's kind of cool to leave the crown on. I think it makes it look cool. Um, if you want to take the crown off, you can take your pliers and kind of squeeze in there and just pop the crown right off. It'll come right off. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that and show you. See, it comes right out really easy. So, there we go. Now I'm going to glue this to the watch base, or the watch base, the uh, ring base. I'm using E6000 glue, which you have to be really gentle with. You don't want to squeeze too hard and have it glop out all over the place. You don't want to break the tube. Don't roll the tube. Now I'm swirling like this so you don't get threads. If you pull straight away, you just get a weird thread but if you kind of swirl it, it won't do that. Anyway, with this tube, you want to squeeze from the bottom. Don't roll it. Be very careful. Don't twist it. Don't do anything with it or it'll crack. It cracks really easy and you have a problem. I also have a slightly tapered tip on this one so it's easier to work with. You don't want to let it sit too long or it'll start to harden without you. I'm just going to push that on there. I'm going to let it sit for a second to kind of harden. I'm going to look at it and make sure everything is even, nice and flat. And let it just sit for a second. It'll start to harden. It'll start to harden right away but you want to let it sit and harden overnight before you start trying to wear it or sell it or do anything with it. I'm using my tweezers to remove the extra glue so it's not rubbing against people's fingers or making a big sticky mess all over the place. Alright, I'm going to turn it over and check it again to make sure it's straight. Alright, now I'm going to glue on the crystals. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of E6000 onto the back of the crystal. I'm holding it with my tweezers and I'm going to drop it in place. I'm going to tap it a few times. Alright, I'm going to just kind of tap the crystals into place. Tap them down into the adhesive. And then I'm going to let them dry. <laughs>